The buzz for Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse is at an all-time high, of course with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse ending off on a cliffhanger, so today I'm going to be reacting to five theories. Some of them are mine, some of them are other people's theories, and we're going to dive deep into them and talk about it, so let's get into it. And starting off with the first theory that I have is actually from a viewer of the channel, subscriber Zach, my friend. Zach says, I feel like we may see more worlds next time that are not Spider-Man related, possibly the MCU as well, since it's called Beyond the Spider-Verse. And I would have to agree, um, I never really thought too hard into the title or anything like that, but we learned specifically in this movie that we're obviously just traveling the Spider-Verse and that Miguel O'Hara has not a connection to the entirety of the Marvel Universe, or the multiverse, I'm sorry, but just the entirety of the Spider-Verse. So every universe that has a spider person in it, he has access to. We saw that through the webs and everything like that when they you know, show how the multiverse works for the Spider-Verse. And I think, we might get to see you know him go outside of this just this kind of pocket of the multiverse and travel out beyond into other universes within marvel now we know that chris um chris miller and phil lord said that they had worked in collaboration with kevin feige to kind of flesh out this marvel multiverse so that could be a little hint to maybe something happening in the future where there might be an mcu crossover whether it's just with tom holland spider-man or maybe with MCU characters, and maybe just other Marvel characters in general, whether it's animated or live action. I think it would be really interesting. We already talked about on this channel theories of Miles appearing in Secret Wars, so this is definitely a theory I could see happening. Um, it would be fun to see, as long as it doesn't do a disservice to the story. We don't want it to be, you know, this movie kind of packed with just fan service, and that's not really what this franchise has been. Yes, there's those fan service moments where we get these cool little cameos and fun little things like that but has never affected the story or the movie itself and I would like to keep it that way moving into theory number two this one comes from Den of Geeks in this article that I was reading and if you remember in the end of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse we saw a lot of nods to the Sinister Six on Earth 42 where we have this world where there was no Spider-Man where there is no Spider-Man um, on the news we hear about the Sinister Six cartel the buildings in the skyline have a lot of names that have nods to other Spider-Man villains that were a part of the Sinister Six or just a part of the Spider-Man lore in general. So one of the theories that we have here is that the Sinister Six will appear in Beyond the Spider-Verse and be a core group of villains for Miles to go against. Now, the article mentions that it might be a little bit too much to have the Sinister Six in it, the Spot, and then Miguel O'Hara, um, you know, all being like the antagonist of this movie. So. It would be really hard to balance, so I don't really think that necessarily the Sinister Six will be um, a villain of this movie or really play any part. Maybe we'll briefly see them get a cool little fight scene or something like that, but I highly doubt it. I don't think that this is actually going to happen in the movie. I think we're just going to stick with the spot and Miguel O'Hara. I don't think there's going to be this other added villain unless Miles' Prowler kind of becomes this bigger part of the movie um, and beyond the Spider-Verse, but I don't know. I feel like that situation will probably be rectified within like the first 30 or, or so minutes of the movie. I don't think it will continue too far along. And that brings us to theory number three, and this is my own theory, and that is that nobody will die in the third movie, and I have two reasons for this. Um, we saw that in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, in the ending of that trilogy, that you didn't need to have an, a, you know, a death to have an emotional ending and conclusion to the trilogy, and I don't think you need to have a death in the Spider-Verse trilogy to have like this, you know, emotional conclusion or anything like that to close out this journey. I think there's other ways to deliver on the emotion. My other reasoning on this is because it, it kind of would essentially maybe defeat the purpose of the movie, right? So Miles is trying to save everyone and maybe he fails at this, but I, I think we need to, I think we need Miguel to see that there are other ways that you have to try other ways to you know figure stuff out to be able to save everyone and if miguel doesn't see that you know this worked out and that you know they found another way to you know protect the multiverse multiverse and everything like that then it kind of defeats the purpose or maybe that's what they're gonna go for and maybe it doesn't work and this rivalry between miguel and miles is even more heated and and crazier than you know what we expected but that's just my small little theory right there Let's move into the fourth theory. And remember how I said that I don't think anybody will die? Well, I kind of changed my mind just a smidge. I, I do think that theory number three is a lot more likely to happen, but this is just a fun little theory, and that's theory number four that I have for you guys, and that um, the Prowler on Earth-42, Miles, 
Uh, I was thinking maybe that he kind of turns over a new leaf, helps Miles, and then dies. I know you're thinking that that's weird, but what if he dies and kind of like how Uncle Aaron dies in Into the Spider Verse, it's kind of like a life changing moment for Miles. Um, maybe you know Miles dying in in on Earth 42 is a life changing you know moment for Aaron Davis and he decides to become a vigilante known as the prowler not this villain but a vigilante dons the suit and kind of you know brings justice to earth 42 as a vigilante known as the prowler on the other side of that or we could do you know the prowler uh miles's prowler on earth 42 same thing turns over a new leaf and becomes the hero of earth 42 rather than you know being this villain i don't know if he would get spider-man powers or anything like that it would kind of be hard to write that into the story but I think you can make it work as him being the Prowler um, as like this vigilante on that earth um, instead of being like this villain or anything like that. Quick little, you know, fun little theory there. That brings us to our fifth theory and our final and last theory. And that is, I think there will be a Spider-Man Civil War. And this one's kind of obvious, but I, I don't know if they're going to fully go in this direction. So we know, you know, Gwen's kind of building her own team. We know Miguel has his spider society and everything like that. But we also kind of see towards the end of the movie, the spider people, you know, kind of hesitating with their actions here. And I think that this is gonna carry out into this third movie here and that we're gonna see kind of this huge divide and maybe see this big massive fight scene. Kind of like how we saw Miles swinging around the spider society with all the spider people chasing him. Maybe we'll get this big kind of fight scene within the spider society where, you know, there's two sides of spider people, one that agrees with Miguel, one that agrees with Miles, and there's this huge fight. And then maybe those people go and find Gwen and join her side. And maybe we kind of get this like civil war type thing. I don't know. I don't think it would be like the whole feature of the movie, but it'd be cool to kind of to see in there. And I wanted to throw in one little bonus kind of theory. And that theory is that Miles at the end of Beyond the Spider-Verse will return home with a cake. And maybe on that cake, it will say, I am Spider-Man or something like that. I am sorry. And he will reveal to his parents that he is Spider-Man and that will kind of end the trilogy there and then it'll end off with him like swinging around the city kind of like how the first movie ended with like a little monologue maybe we'll see that again um those are my theories or well not all my theories some theories that i reacted to some theories of my own that i had um three four five six were my theories one and two were not my theories so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments drop your theories down below in the comments hit that like button if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button to join the nerd family i'll catch you guys on the next one have a great day